Hey everyone, welcome back. So, for this video, we're going to be continuing to look at the queen versus pawn on the second rank. If uh, you have gotten a chance to look at the queen versus the e or d pawn, that would be that would be excellent if you've already seen that, because that's probably the one you should start with before moving on to this one, which is uh, when you, you get the bishop pawn, either the c or f pawn, because it's a little bit different, and uh, so it's, it's good that you already know kind of the basics. If it's an e or d pawn, you may remember that little trick we had. You know, we have a, a dance we do with the queen. We just kind of move the queen around the pawn, force the black king to move in front, and we just keep dancing with the queen until we get a chance to move up the king. Unfortunately, this dance doesn't work in this version with the bishop pawn. In the second part of it, this video, we're going to look at a occasion where it sometimes can work, but it depends on where the pieces are. But in this case, the, the white king is too far away. And so let's let's take a look at this if we try the dance in this case. So queen check, king moves somewhere. Um, let's see here, let's give um, a chance to move up the king. And so it looks like it's working, but let's let's take a, another look. So let's let's keep going. Check. The king can move to h1. So it looks like the white king or the white queen could take the pawn, right? But uh, there's a small problem, being that uh, there is stalemate. So this is kind of the trick that you have to think about. Normally, when the king would step too far away, you could snag the pawn, but in this case, it just doesn't work. So the dance doesn't work in this case. So you can kind of see that. It just isn't going to work. And uh, the king always will have that option of just moving to h1. And, uh, you know, say say you try to repeat. You can, you can try going check. But again, you know, anytime you try to do anything... Black will always have that ability to move to h1 when he's threatening to push the pawn forward. And you can't take the pawn because it would create the stalemate. So, yeah. So, with that being said, let's move on to the second example where sometimes we can make it work. Because there is a few cases where this idea of the using that dance to get close to the pawn can win with the bishop pawn f or c pawn on the second slash seventh rank. So let's let's set that up. Okay, so here we are. Second example, slightly different this time. If we see this white king is a lot closer this time, and he's going to be close enough to where there's a little tactical idea we have. And here's the difference. There's, there's kind of like this line you can draw on the board. So for this, the F pawn, the king is in this little box. Let's see if we can't draw one here. It's kind of like this. And you see, because the, the king is inside of this box, he's going to be close enough. Well, that's not really a box, but you know what I mean. And he's close enough to the pawn to where he can stop it. And uh, if it was the, the C pawn, you, you would draw it a little bit differently. You would draw it like, you have to be like inside of these lines. But you get the idea. He's going to be close enough to stop the pawn this time. So let's take a look at how, how this type of idea works. So let's go ahead, let's say, queen b2 check. And then king e1. And then king e3 and here's the point so if promotes to a queen queen d2 is checkmate and if uh, maybe you say okay so queen doesn't work well maybe a knight check but uh, after something like you know just uh, just you know moving the king you can easily checkmate against a knight Queen and king are just an easy checkmate against that. 
So let's, let's take a look at uh, maybe another idea. Let's go back a little bit. Maybe, um, let's try another checkmate idea. Maybe, let's see if I can't show the other idea. It, it also works, I'm trying to think of the way I said it. Oh, let's just, uh, I'm just going to try to set it up. I'm just going to move the pieces in order to, to show it. Because I just want to put it on the board. And yeah, you, you can take the pawn in some cases, like right now. Um, there's just really just one example I just really want to show. Okay, so here we go. Let's just put this on here. It, it kind of works like this as well in the corner. You can play like this and get the checkmate. And so you see all the ideas. I just want to put it on the corner as well to show that the same type of idea works this way as well. And in some cases, you will just win the pawn. But anyways, you, you get the idea. Again, it's more important that you remember these ideas than remember any of these actual moves. Just remember this idea of the checkmate in the corner, and also that sometimes the king will be able to get in contact with the pawn, and then you can win it with the queen. And once you've seen this, you can probably figure it out for yourself in a game. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.